is a cool tip since uh, we've been out on the hook now for five days six days whatever it is we have these large bottles of water and the routine is since we have a fridge that runs on the generator we'll freeze one we'll put the thawed one back in take a couple of bottles of cold frozen bottles and we'll put that I'll put some back in the yep we'll put them in the cooler this has been keeping the water cold notice there's a lot of water in there uh, and now we'll have some cold beverages later on I'll take some of these bottles out and put them in the freezer and we've been doing that for a while now it enables us to have cold beers not ice ice cold beers are uh, you replacing them all right there we go good 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 now we got these cold waters for the dogs and for us having a cold beverage is the difference between roughing it and enjoying your watery vacation It doesn't hurt to have a captain who's got cold snacks every once in a while, too. Well, the pineapple's good, man. I got it still a little salty on me. Mm. Mm-hmm. Good times, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're continuing our way back up north. We've done our exploring. Mike revealed the fact that he had some pineapple. I'd say it's time for a beverage. need a shower tonight but that's a rough life huh <laughs> pretty close right off the bat nice big boat don't care Adventure, we're there. Watch out for that root. <laughs> Mike again showed the importance of having a stern anchor. Want me to take up the slack? Yeah. I then went down below to neaten up some of the lines, and Mike decided he was going to get on the Catch 100 and do a little exploring. For a 10 foot kayak, it handles his big frame awfully well. And it's got a big back seat. Man, I love that kayak. Check out the family of Pelican catch boats when you get a chance. Meantime, I'm going to sit on my butt. Today, life is good. Every time I've ever come down here, I've always hate them. And you never did? No. My next goal was to take the dogs ashore, let them have a little potty break. And for myself, I wanted to enjoy dry land for a little bit. At this point, getting the dogs ashore was proving to be pretty routine. The good thing about the Bass Raider is that once I got the dogs ashore, I was able to remove the seat and have a place to park my butt, instead of just sitting in the sand up on the island.
Come here. Jabs. Yeah. Good girl. Captain Mike. What's up? And good times. I really do have this captain and this vessel to thank for a really wonderful getaway. And I think the dogs enjoyed it too. <laughs> Yo, hugs. Are you giving me hugs? Huh? You like the boat life? <laughs> yeah, me too. Mike had found his way back to good times, which actually worked into my benefit, because if I needed a beer, he was there for me. Now that's a good captain. Good, huh, As always, when you're having fun, time moved pretty quickly, and it was soon time to get the dogs back aboard so they can get something to eat. And it was also time for me to get something to eat as well. Marty. We'll be home in that. <laughs> this was an old fireman's recipe from Mike's days as a fireman, where you put chopped meat, potatoes, onions, and some vegetables all together in a bowl. It was stick to your ribs good. <laughs> uh, I should use a fork. After all, we're not dogs. <laughs> Mike and I spent the rest of the evening loitering around this little island here in Venice Inlet. It was an extremely pleasurable evening with good food, a nice breeze coming out of the inlet. And then later on around the corner, we found this anchorage where we would spend the night. There was a channel real close, but I'll talk about that in the next video. For the time being, we anchored up and fell asleep, knowing that tomorrow we would head north and start our way back towards Tampa Bay. But for tonight, we just relaxed and watched a distant fireworks show, courtesy of Mother Nature, and dreamed about the next day to come.